This is the island of Stronse. Located due north of Inverness, it's a quiet and peaceful place for a seaside getaway. But as zoologist Jeff Swinney will tell us, on a summer day in 1808, visitors were met with a terrifying sight. A fishing boat noticed something unusual. Their attention was drawn to it by the screaming gulls that had gathered around this carcass, which had been washed onto some rocks. It was big, it was smelly. This was nothing like anything they'd seen before. The fisherman who had discovered the carcass, a man by the name of John Peace, approached it with a group of locals. The island dwellers were familiar with the occasional beach whale or shark carcass that could wash up on the Stronse shores. But this was something very different and very, very big. What they found on the beach was an animal with a relatively small head, only about a foot long, and then a body which extended 55 feet. And they measured this, uh, so we know that the measurement was accurate. And about a quarter of the length of this appeared to be neck, made up of vertebrae, and then the rest of the, the vertebral column going off tail, there appeared to be three pairs of legs. And the whole body was covered in what appeared to be matted fur with a mane of fur running down the back of the body. This must have been an extraordinary sight. Imagine this is what they would have seen. It must have been absolutely terrifying, disturbing. This huge, 55-foot-long, mysterious, six-legged, hairy animal just lying there on the beach. These were not just a new species. This was a new species of megafauna. This was a, a big animal. This was a sea monster. It was dubbed the Stronse Beast, and news of the discovery began to spread. News spread fairly rapidly worldwide that this sea monster had arrived on the shore. They convened a sort of tribunal with two local justices of the peace taking sworn affidavits from the local people who had seen this animal. The remains of the animal that are still in the museum uh, consists of three vertebrae. I've had the opportunity of, of looking at the three vertebrae after analyzing the remains, Jeff concluded that the Stronse beast shared many similarities with our potential profile of the Loch Ness Monster, including a long, narrow shape, flippers on its abdomen, and of course, its massive size. This is the first physical evidence of a possible Loch Ness Monster-type creature in Scotland. Not a blurry photo or a fleeting sighting, but actual remains of a species that must have roamed the area's waters at some point. There are myths, stories, legends associated with many large bodies of water all over the world. Stories of unknown animals. Loch Ness in particular. It would, of course, be really exciting if we had some material evidence of a new animal, a bit of megafauna, a, a, a large animal, a sea monster. And until we have something to actually examine, I keep an open mind. Could the Stronse beast actually be the same species as the creature long identified as the Loch Ness Monster. The resemblance is uncanny, as is the timing. In 1808, the year the Stronse Beast was discovered, there were alleged sightings of similar creatures in Loch Ness and in Sweden's Storsjan Lake. Is this just a coincidence? 
or were several of these unknown animals migrating through northern Europe? <laughs> 